who visits the set of a new comedy drama starring David Tennant. Picture it, an actress finds her driving lesson so traumatic and dramatic she writes a TV show about it and then casts all of her mates in it. It's called Learners and it's set here at Enfield and who better than to send a seasoned pro to find out what it's all about. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Here for a nice little chit chat, yeah? We're on the clock. Just teach me. Okay, right. She tried eight times to pass her test and she just keeps failing. So she finally she just decides that's it, she's gonna go and get some professional lessons, which is where she meets the character Chris, who is played by David Tennant, and he's a becomes her driving teacher. And lo and behold. There's a little bit of a free song, shall we there's say? There's no free song. I think it's in maybe in Bev's mind. In Bev's mind. In Bev's mind, there's a bit of a free song. <laughs> he's a very nice chap. He's a very straight down the line chap. Nice. Um, but the, the, he really wouldn't sort of say boo to a goose, really, unless he's very provoked. He does end up being the kind of romantic hero of the piece, but not in, in a very conventional way. So she's strangely drawn. She's strangely drawn, but I'm strangely drawn to someone else. I'm strangely right. drawn to Sarah Hadland's character, Fiona. Fiona. I don't have the husband or children, but I do have the business. And to be honest, Beverly, I could not give up my independence, financial or otherwise. Men, in my experience, take and take and take. You're the femme fatale of this piece, or at least Ooh, I, I've seen... I well, really I, thought to myself well, like that. Yes, I suppose I am. Well, I've, I've just seen two men squabbling all over you, yes, and that doesn't happen every day. Nice. Well, it happens occasionally. Tell us a little bit about her. Well, basically, she's had a bit of a tough time, men-wise, and um, her husband has left her, Roger, and he's run off with a pupil, and so she's taken over the empire. Watch out! Oh, that's my money plan. We don't want anything happening to him, do we? It's taken you how long to learn to drive? It's, it's taken me ten years as well. Ten the, years? The time I started learning, the time I actually passed, which was January this year. She said, well, I've got to pass my driving test before we start filming. So it's booked for kind of a week before we turn over. Which well, did seem like quite a high-risk strategy, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh -huh. Well then, Beverly, I swear on this Rocksmurf that you will pass your test. All right, so if I don't pass now, the Smurf gets it. I play Ian, which is uh, Jessica's uh, partner in this and uh, they basically kind of do pretty much what they can to, to get by, really. Oh, I'm really sorry, Bev, but we just can't afford your lessons at the moment. But it's not we, is it? Ian, it's me. I can't afford my lessons because I'm picking up your slack. I know, I, I know, Bev, I know, and, and I'm really sorry. He I feels emasculated when she decides to get a driving instructor. That's the thing that really gets to him. Um, you know, it's that kind of, that's his, that's his territory. Right. You know, now there's somebody teaching his lady. He, does, he doesn't like that. Gently does it. Yeah. It's like a scourer. If you press too hard, the surface comes off. But for you especially as well, to do something like this, which, which is obviously a leap away from the Doctor franchise, albeit temporarily, to do a kind of, you know, suburban romp, mm. and obviously then you can go back to all that time travel and... Well, that's assuming I am coming back, of course, isn't it? Oh, big screen for you? Um, no immediate plans, no. I don't really think like that. I've never been very good at all this, that kind of five-year plan, you know. Yeah. I just kind of do whatever comes up next. Lovely. He's still not seeing whether he's going back to Doctor Who or not. Oh, he'll be there with bells on. <laughs>